our journey with St. Jude began three years ago. Our son, you know, Brody was a typical nine-year-old little boy. He played soccer, baseball, loved to jump on the trampoline, ride his bike with his buddies. And then at the end of the summer in 2017, my husband and I noticed that Brody seemed a little more tired. Um, He was very pale looking. And then as the days went on, he continued to get worse. One day we were at the pet store and he said, Mom, I need to sit down. My back hurts really bad. And that was just something odd for a nine-year-old to complain of back pain. Right. It, it took about three months to receive his actual diagnosis. We took him to countless appointments with his pediatrician. We took him to the emergency room three times. We saw lots of specialists and he was diagnosed with various illnesses. And there was actually something very interesting that stood out during this time. Brody and I had a chance to go to a Cubs game together. And of course, we took lots of pictures in front of Wrigley Field and at the game. And when I went back and looked at the pictures of him and I at Wrigley, I knew while looking at this picture that he did not look healthy. Shortly after that, we saw a specialist who sent him for further testing for rheumatoid arthritis. After several days in testing, the doctor came to his room and she asked to speak to my husband and I in the hallway. At that point, I knew the news was not good. She told us, your son does not have rheumatoid arthritis. She said, I'm very sorry, but he has cancer. She continued to talk to us and explain some things, but I did not hear anything else she said. I was shocked and terrified. We didn't know how to tell Brody, so my husband asked her to come in the room. I think the turning point was, for me, was later that night. It was about midnight, and actually the Christmas parade had just gone by down below and I was looking out his hospital window and I just felt completely distraught about the news. And I was just staring at the Chicago skyline and I heard his little voice say, Mom, the doctor said I could ask her anything. And I said, that's right, buddy, you can ask her anything. In a very quiet voice, he said, can I ask her if I'm going to die? And as my heart was breaking, I also longed for that same answer. And I think it was at that moment that I knew in order to give him the best chance to survive, we needed to get him to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. 